I nuked the entire high school network once. That was probably not the greatest thing to do. <laughs> The start was really just not being good at grade school, like English, French, science, but I was great at computers. So they just shoved me in that stream and I really excelled at it. ICT is, is us. We are in the IT field, we're in the communication field. We create solutions that provide technical communication tools for agencies all over North America. So that is our business. One of the first big companies we worked for, we built the back-end technology for Atari. Atari was building their online arcade and they needed experts that knew gaming servers, socket servers, APIs, that kind of thing. We felt confident we could do it and we took a risk and said, yes, we'll take on this project and successfully delivered. And it was a big multi-million dollar press release by Microsoft. And here we were, this little Windsor company that built a core part of this infrastructure, handling you know, hundreds of thousands of simultaneous users. You know, that was a, a moment where we realized we can do big things. My name is Prasha Sapareha. I'm a Jira developer here. I'm on internship in a program from the University of Windsor. What sparked my interest was from playing computer games and um, watching TV shows. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What is he doing? You know, that's that's always my interest. I'm not interested in the romance. I'm not. I'm, I'm interested. In what is that guy doing with the computer? Coming from Nigeria to, to Canada, what it meant for me was there were specific limitations where IT is not as big as it should be because Nigeria is a predominantly um, oil-based economy. So I, I, I looked at you know the development. The Western world has has had IT for for a long time. You know, it's something that's more much more developed here, and that, that was a that was a pitch I gave to my dad. The type of people we're looking for mainly are passionate about their field. If somebody can be inexperienced, but they've got that drive and that passion and that spark, that's the person that I want to hire. You can learn a lot of the stuff on your own if you wanted to. I've seen great people that don't have college university educations, but you need to have that dedication to be able to go home and do the work and, and study. I was watching a professor online and he was saying creativity comes when you're in the box because you have defined a scope. The general one is to think outside the box. But yes, I have, I'm outside the box now and I want to go towards a direction. I want to be this person. You have to decide early on how you want to grow. Define your scope and you can do anything. Some of the changes in the field have been the cool factor. It used to be a very not cool thing to be a developer, right? And now it's, you're doing cool things in Silicon Valley. You're making good money doing something you love that's, that's creative. We, we work really hard, but at the same time, we're trying, to, we're trying to have fun. People don't necessarily see information technology as a creative thing, but it really is the same energy as, as any other art form. I think everybody has a certain creative need, right? It's part of our species. It's a technical way of expressing a, a creative desire. I mean, ultimately, we're in this to innovate. I think people think that this, this industry is maybe a bunch of nerds, geeky, chess-playing sort of thing, which, which it, of course, isn't. I mean, if I look at the people we have, um, really, nobody has those characteristics. So I think it's open to anybody, and I think it can be fun. And like I said, it can be a very creative process. It truly is, is a creative thing.